Hey your followers, welcome to my channel. This is the name of my channel. Yeah, it's hard to point from here, but it is. <laughs> First of all, like this video, subscribe, and, and today I'm going to show you the exact steps that you need to take in order to verify your domain property in the Google Search Console. And I also explain you why you need to do this and trust me, it's going to be really easy. Many people have already followed these tabs because this has been one of the most popular blog posts on my blog. And I decided to shoot a walkthrough video for you, because why not? So let's begin. So today we are going to verify the main property in Google Search Console via DNS. Um, one first thing that I wanted to tell you is that why, in general, why would you want to verify a domain property? The thing is that Google treats different variations of domain like HTTP, HTTPS, W, non-W versions as basically different websites. That's why in if you verify only, for example, HTTP version, you will see the information only for the HTTP URLs. Uh, but when you verify a domain property, you will see a consolidated view of all different URLs, URL groups like HTTP, HTTPS, W without W, all the stuff. So that's pretty cool, right? So that's why today we're going to verify a domain property. And in order to do this, you will need three things. First of all, you will need domain, which makes sense, right? <laughs> uh, secondly, you will need Google Search Console. And thirdly, you will need access to editing DNS records for your domain. And stay with me here. This is not really hard stuff, I promise. So if you bought your domain from one company and you're hosting from another company, you'd better edit DNS records from your domain company, on your domain company website. And if you have all of this under one roof, if you bought the domain and have hosting from one company, you can just go ahead and edit DNS records there. Uh, in my post, I had verification method for cPanel, which is, yeah, which is quite easy. Uh, so I wanted to, to give you a little bit different perspective, guys. So that's why in this case, I'm going to verify my domain, um, domain property via name the Dot com. I have one domain there. I don't really <laughs> use it now, but maybe in the future I will. So that's why I want to make sure that I verify my domain property. Um, I have it verified in this search console, so I'll do this in another one. By the way, one more thing before going to start. Uh, you need to verify your domain property only in one Google search console, and then you can give permissions to other users. In this case, the reason why I'm doing this another time in another Google Search Console is that because I want to show you guys how it's done. But basically, you only need to do it once. The first thing is that I click Add Property. And here, I will need to paste the property that I want to verify. Make sure that it's without HTTPS, HTTP, and without W. Then I click Continue. Okay, and uh, here is a txt record for my DNS configuration. I'm just copying it because I will need it in, this, in the next step. I go to, to name.com and manage my DNS records. You see, there is another txt method that I have already added for another search console. But for this video, we need just one. Okay, txt, make sure that you choose type txt because by default, it's a different type. Answer uh, so here. And generally like for example in this um in this case in this in, the, in this example in cpanel you would need to insert your uh, domain name under name what happens here is that if i insert it just let's have a look what happens okay it doubles it right so this is not correct we want to have only one domain here. Here, here we go. So this is the right configuration. After that, we need to click verify. But before I, I'm pretty sure that <laughs> um, this 
doesn't sound, you know, good, but you, in most of the cases, the domain won't be verified straight away. It will take time for, um, for your, for DNS records to work. So in most of the cases, when you click verify, nothing happens. Oh my God. Okay. This is the first time when it happened to me for the first time, uh, from the first try. But yeah, what you can see is that ownership verification failed. Don't panic, that's totally fine. In ca it can take up to one day for DNS records to work, for Google to pick them up, and that's totally fine. So you just need to wait and uh, there will be an option to verify the domain again. If it happens, you don't need to edit any DNS records, you don't need to do anything else for on your DNS uh, from with your DNS records, but basically check if they're correct and that's it. And wait for some time. Sometimes it takes two, three minutes, sometimes one hour, sometimes several hours or up to a day and check again. Um, okay, so now I can go to property. But yeah, of course, it's it's empty now because I need the data to get populated here. But I can show you an example of how it works in a different property. So for example, here I would see all the all the results for HTTPS and HTTP versions. Let's check HTTP. Okay, so here we go. HTTP. Oh, oh my God. Yes, that, that wasn't correct. Okay. Uh, and to make it even easier for you to follow me, I'll do this. That's what I'm talking about. You see the same URL with HTTPS and HTTP. This means that this um, domain property shows the consolidated view for this URL. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, so now you can go ahead, yeah, you can check your property, like, yeah, give it some time to get the data, to have the data populated. But once it's done, you can just play with it and uh, see what other options Google Search Console gives you. Yes, you did a good job. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel 100% because there are many videos um, on Google Analytics like for example, Google Analytics 4, which is a completely new beast, but we need to know it, right? And also I'm going to post a lot of videos on SEO. Follow me, SEO follow, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next videos.